There are things you don't know about me. Three, two, one. What? Hello. Since you asked for it, we are playing this game again. Agree to disagree. You ready to offend people? Let's do it. We are starting with level easy and we're working our way up to level hard. I have lied to you. Three, Three two, two, one. one. You make me grow stronger. The reason why I'm saying this is just because of my current video. The video you weren't telling me about. Yeah, but it's just like, it's, I'm not really lying to you. It's like a lie of omission. You know, I'm not lying, but I'm not telling the full truth. You've never sense. lied to me other than this video. Okay, I've probably lied to you before. It's not important enough to recall, I guess. Not what? I don't know. What? You're in the same spot. What have you lied to me about? I think it's more like maybe little white lies. Oh, ugh. every surprise. Yeah, every yeah. single like, birthday of mine. Exactly. I do a lot of like surprising. Mm. And I feel like, you know, the mm. classic like, yeah. are you okay? I'm fine. That sort of thing. She's the culprit of that. Let me tell you. But I don't think I just like, I'm not just like a liar in our marriage. Yeah, same. It's more like if you're trying to hide something for the purpose of revealing it later. Like with my video now, like I'm filming something, I just don't want you to know about it yet. But I've never been like, does my outfit look good? And you're like, yeah, babe. No, I tell you the truth on that. Are you kidding me? I would want to be told the truth if my outfit looked terrible. Same. Good. Glad we're on the same page. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Gabriel wears the pants. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> really? <laughs> you think so? Probably. I feel like we're actually both pretty like level in terms of like a relationship. We're both like the classic 32-32. I would say for smaller things, I'm more indecisive. So if we're like trying to pick something for dinner or something, it's not like we need McDonald's because it's like I'm usually indecisive. That was kind of my interpretation. I feel like we're both pretty even as far as like Listen what I'm gonna say. In the grand scope of the marriage, I think there's more things that I will take lead on. Yeah. Like our finances and stuff. Like we both are open about them and talk about them, but I feel like I take lead on that. And there's other things that you take lead on, but I feel like there's more things familiarly that I like take lead on. And that's why yeah. I put it there. I would actually agree with that. Oh, would you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Yes. I have regrets about our wedding. <sighs> Three, two, two one. one. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Care to explain yourself? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a beautiful day and perfect for us, mm -hmm. but I, looking back, there are things that I would do differently. One thing is like, oh, I wish I maybe had one or two more friends in my bridal party. Mm -hmm. Or if I was to pick an engagement ring style now, it might be a little different. Doesn't mean I don't love it, yeah. but I think when 60 is in, I mm -hmm. think it's normal to like think that you would do things differently. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was the, read the context of the question again? I have regrets about our wedding. Oh, mine is agree. Sorry. Okay, you need to learn how to play the game. Yeah, guys, sorry, my bad. I'm here with you. Okay, good. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very happy with it. Of course. Obviously, like right now, I wouldn't necessarily change anything that we did unless we were going to do it now. Yeah. Then it's like, I'll probably have less people, to be honest. You think like, oh, wedding, I have to invite all these people. It's like, dude, just invite like a small amount of people who are like the closest. Party. Yeah, totally. Uh, also, I will say like Gabe changed his wedding ring. <laughs> Probably like a year ago I changed it. So five years in, I was like not the most happy with my wedding ring because I wasn't into like jewelry then. So I didn't put any thought into the wedding ring. I was like, yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. And then years down the line, I'm looking at it every day. It's on my hand every day. And I'm like, man, I really wish I had a better wedding ring. So what I did was I had my original wedding ring melted down and turned into this pinky ring, which I still wear every day. And then I got a new ring that I really, really love. And it's still inscribed on the inside with the date of our wedding and everything like that. So don't at me, all right? Final. Level easy question. There are things you don't know about me. Three, two, one. What? Hello. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you have to Take off the mic. Oh my god. <laughs> that was improv. That was in the moment? That was. Dude, you're so freaking cool. Okay, so what don't I know about you? Just like since being married or since knowing each other. The thing is, is like I don't know, but I'm sure there's something. The current video I'm filming. Oh my god. <laughs> what I think of when I hear that question is like, I love telling you stuff obviously, but I think there's things that come into my mind that I'm like, you know what? He doesn't need to know that. Like, I don't need to tell him that. Do you mean like the little things that randomly happen that are kind of inconsequential? Yeah, like what if I have a sore knee right now and I'm like, mm. I have a sore knee right now. Do you? I do. See? Yeah, all right. Does that make sense? Okay, we have leveled up to level medium. Let's the go, stakes baby. have risen. I can't believe you put this one in here. 
everyone watching should click the subscribe button. Three, two, two one. one. I'll switch <laughs> out. Cheers to that, girl. <laughs> You didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Still on level medium. That last one should have been on level easy, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I would be okay with you being friends with an ex. Do you have to think about that? Yeah, I do. Wow, okay. Three, All right. two, one. one. I'm kind of floating, to be honest. You need to go fast, because I'm all over the place. I know why you're all over the place, actually. It just clicked in my head. If you were friends with your ex, I would still trust you. I don't think I would trust him. Okay, that's interesting. Everyone's matured, whatever, but you never know. And I'm not trying to like put, have you in a situation where like things could be compromised. Yeah, yeah. I think it depends on the person because I've seen people be friends with their ex. I don't think I would personally be able to do it. When you're with someone and you have that connection with someone, I don't personally see how it can all of a sudden just like bounce back to a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think I would struggle. I know what your dilemma is here. Do you? Is I have one legit ex and then I have one that's not really an ex. The one that's not really an ex was like a high school, we liked each other, never kissed. You just went on like a date. we were homeschool like liking each other people basically. And we we're still friends. And I love her very much. Yes, and her husband uh, married us. <laughs> so there's that, or my actual ex, Yes. that was just a disaster. That's gonna that... be a strongly disagree. I'm here because of this circumstance. I'm mm -hmm. like, absolutely not. Like without a doubt, no, yeah. N-O. P-E. <laughs> but that's because of this specific circumstance. Yeah, it's okay to go through the other person's phone. Three, Three two, two, one. one. If there's nothing to hide, then of course it's okay. But then if there's nothing to hide and you are, are like paranoid and there's actually nothing to hide and that's more of like a you problem not trusting the person rather than like the person not being trustworthy in general, then I think there's stuff to work out. But like we know our passwords. Yeah, I know. Like I don't care if you go through my phone, but like in the broader sense of scenarios being different and trust issues and all that. Don't go through the person's phone to try and like catch something bad. Totally. Also, I think it's different being married for six years. Like we are on each other's phones. Like yeah, yeah. sending a picture of Makaya or, you know, can you text this person or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Like we are just on each other's phones. If you're newly dating or something, I don't fully think it's necessary. I think it's important to have nothing to hide, obviously. I see it differently being married and yeah. being like... Well, that level comes with trust and trust isn't something that happens right away. It's something that's built over time. This is last of the medium. Final level medium. I'm happy to share my location with you. Three, Three two, two, one. There's two reasons why I'm here. One, is I need to turn it off if I'm shooting a video, like the video I'm filming. In this scenario where it's like a surprise is happening, a friend of yours is landing at the airport and I'm going to pick that person up to surprise you with her. Is that what's happening in the video? No, that's not what's happening in the video. He's getting nervous. This is a hypothetical, guys. But I tell you, hey, I'm going out to meet so-and-so for coffee. I'm not gonna have my location on because if you see that I'm at the airport, you know what I mean? Yeah. But then also, it drains the crap out of your battery. That's your excuse. <laughs> I think it's really good for safety. Like that is obviously the main reason why we have it. Mm -hmm. We don't have it so I can see that you're at the airport or something. Mm. We're now on level hard. I've worried about your friends of the opposite sex. Three, two, two one. one. What? Okay, I have to be honest. Yeah, I know, but uh, give me the honesty. Only because of- Oh, I know what you're saying. When we were first dating. Whoa, how can you read my mind? It's kind of the- the situation of like, oh, I trust you, but I don't know if I trust these other people. Mm -hmm. And yes, we had just started dating. I lived across the world. And I'm thinking of one situation in particular where I knew this one person was like very flirtatious. Mm -hmm. And I remember being worried about her. But I think now we have a lot of the same friends. Like yeah. we have a lot of couple friends. So I'm never worried about any of our like girlfriends in the couples that we are friends with. Yeah, I would have no worry about the dude friends that we're friends with. But a lot of people who watch our videos are worried about Sebastian. I know. Dude, which is so which funny. Which is so funny. It's hilarious. Cause Jess would never. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so bizarre, first of all, to feel like I have to defend myself in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause like nothing would, would ever, nothing would ever, with any guy friend, mm -hmm. I do more work in the marriage. This one's a tough one to like narrow down as far as like what it is. I know it definitely depends what we're talking about. Three, two, one. one. <laughs> wow. 
I like the humility on both sides of the table. <laughs> I think there's certain things where you do more, there's certain aspects where I do more, and I think that's yeah, important. Yeah, with the baby. Obviously, you're gonna do more than me right now, because I can't breastfeed, so, yeah. duh. But then, like, finances and stuff, I'm yeah. kind of the one you do leading that. You do admin. And all of that plays into, like, the healthy marriage. But I like that we both took the humble route. The last and final question. Uh-oh, the juice. I have considered cheating. Three, two, one. <laughs> you first. The reason why I'm here is because I'm basing it off of our conversation on the last video like this, where it's like, have I thought about the concept of it. What if I cheated? Or like, what if Jess cheated? Yeah, obviously I'm gonna be here, but it's like, I've thought about it. Like, what if that happened? I've had dreams that- What? You've cheated on me. Oh, <laughs> yes. That used to happen a lot. Yeah, every now and then. And then she'd wake up like pissed at me. I'd be like, babe, what's wrong? And she'd be like, nothing, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no, I would obviously never consider it. Blech. Never. Am I considering? Cheating on you? Absolutely not, never. I would hope so. But I wanted to kind of play by the rules that we played last time we played this game. Being honest, and I have thought about how terrible it would be if something like that actually happened. It's okay, I understand. Speaking of the last video, click right there for it because it was also just as juicy. Bye.